What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Wednesday's weekly report. This time around, we have a new edition. Uh, it's not that very exciting. Only five new things really came out that I um, really showed on Poke Beach. So let's go over those really quick. Um, now there is a new Azel promo re uh, leak in Korra Korra Ichiban, I guess. Uh, the April edition of Korra Korra magazine will come in package with a new Azel promo. Uh, so it's pretty cool that Korra Korra is still releasing promo cards in their magazines. But it has Shining Eyes. Put two damage counters on each of your opponent's Pokemon that has any damage counters on it. So you could par partner with the, uh, Fortress. Fortress does 10 damage to all your opponent's Pokemon. And then you have Shining Eyes do a 2 damage to everywhere else, which is pretty neat. And then um, there is the Psycho Trip, does 30 damage to your opponent's active Pokemon is not confused. Um, confusion, not really that big of a deal because you can easily just retreat out of it. So, it's, you know, not going to be that great of a card. Uh, Shining Eyes might be something cute to, I don't know, play around with uh, Justin Fortress, like I said. Uh, next up, Shiny Kylos Tins in May! Exclamation uh, mark! Three new Shiny Kylos Tins will be released in stores on May 18th. They'll cost $19.99 each. Each hand will feature either Shiny Xerneas EX, Shiny Evital EX, or regular Zygarde EX. They're also coming with four booster packs and a code card to unlock a playable tech in PTCGO. The release of these tins likely means that we will get a, we will get the Japanese event distributions for Shiny Xerneas Evital and Zygarde around the same time on October 29th. Japan got a level 100 Xerneas with Geomancy, Move Ice, Aromatherapy, and Focus Boss on never fifth. They got a Shiny Evital with a Blade Wing, Sucker Punch, Dark Pulse, and Foul Play. And then on the 12th, they got a Zygarde, um, which is pretty cool. I, I'm ready to get I'm ready to get Zygarde, a new Pokemon we haven't really seen. And here's their Shiny forms. Um, I can't click on it, but the Shiny Zygarde looks amazing. They all look kind of amazing. I like how they have the white. Um, Outline, I guess, or the white shiny appearance, which is really cool. And then next up, there is a new premium collection coming out, uh, the Mega Mawau. It costs $39.99. It will come with a hollow promo of the Mawau Mawau EX and a Spear Link, a double version of the card, and a club to spin, a coin, six booster packs, and a PTCGO card. So, I mean, let's see. Booster packs are about five dollars, roughly. So, you're looking at six, so six, eight, twelve. Uh, about thirty six dollars, just off the just off just off the booster packs. Like, pretty sure I did that right. Uh, six times five. No, that's thirty, right? Wait, hold on. I said they're five dollars, six boosters. So, yeah, thirty. I don't know why. No, thirty five. What am I thinking right now? Six times five times six, right? Yeah, thirty. Thirty five. I don't. I don't know. I'm really tired. It's thirty or thirty five. Help me out. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. 30. I don't know why I thought 35. I did math. It's hard right now at 4 o'clock in the morning. Uh, but, yep, yeah, six booster packs and a PTC card. card. I mean, $30 just by itself for the packs. And then you get uh, a Jumbo version. You get the Mega Wow, uh, the EX, the Spear Link, and the Mega, which is pretty cool. I mean, it seems definitely worth it for sure. But there's Mao EX. It does 20 damage. Wonder Bomb, 100 damage. Flip a coin to pass. Discard energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So maybe energy denial. But it does need 3 energies, which is a lot. And there's Mega Mao Wow. Now, the only thing that's bad about these cards is Mao Wow has 150 and the Mega has 190, which is pretty low for the Megas. I don't know why the Fairy Pokemon, uh, I know Deonchi, Deonchi has a low HP as well. Uh, but it has Twin Grapple 130, flip two coins for each has discard energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So you could combine this, you know, easily with, you know, Crush and Hammers, Enhanced Hammer, Team Flag Grunts, and basically discard all of your opponent's um, energies. And then if you put, like, a Fighting Fury about on the Mega Mawile, you can make it have, you know, higher HP, like 230. So maybe it could work that way. Well, let's bring up the, the Mawile, the Mega Mawile. There we go. That's what they look like. Uh, they look, do look cool. I like how Mawile's hair is, like, fighting and biting. I do like that a lot. Go away. Go away. And there's the uh, the link, so your turn does not end. Next up, Pokemon Championship Series starts February 27th at select GameStop stores. So at um, Plano, Texas, and Play, Georgia, Irv Irvine, Ir Irvine <laughs> California, Orlando, Florida, Chicago, Illinois, uh, Bill of Be Bellevue, Washington, New York, New York, and Santa Clara. Uh, California, so there we go. Uh, they have a new trailer as well for the Pokemon tournament, so it's really exciting to see what this is all going to do, what's going to be like. Um, here's how it's breaking down. Um, 
it comes in first serve for first serve bases. It'll split to two age brackets, uh, 2001 or later if, or 2000 or earlier. The winner of each bracket will then tr be trained by a professional fighting game player during fun training sessions that then that will be shared on Nintendo social media channels. Once training is complete, they're winner from each city in each bracket, and a guest will be flown to the Nintendo New York store on March 17th for the Pokemon Tournament uh, Early Access Competition Finals, where they'll battle against all the other local champions. The winners of the Pokemon Poke Tournament Early Access Competition Finals will each win a Wii U system, the Poke Tournament game, and a travel war to Columbus, Ohio, where they'll battle at the 2016 U.S. National Champions for the chance to advance to the 2016 World Championship in San Francisco. But I'm still inter interested to see who else is going to compete in the World Championship. How do they decide that? Are they going to do more tournaments like this? Is it first come, first serve bases? Not sure. I know a lot of people want to play this tournament series, so it's going to be interesting, inter interesting to see how this works out. So... I don't know, I'm excited that Pokemon is once again bringing a new uh, series into Pokemon. Like we have the VGC, TCG, and now the, what do you call this, like the PTC? Uh, Pokemon Tournament Championship, so PTC maybe? I don't know, that might sound the best. PTC, VGC, TCG, PTC, PTC, maybe that's what it's going to be called. Uh, there we go. So, you know, if you're close to these people, go try it. I don't know. If you have enough time, go do it. I'm not close to any of these locations. The closest I'm probably to is this, the Georgia location. Uh, I'm not sure either this or Texas. So I'll have to look into it. I'm not going either way. Don't really care about that much. I mean, not. I do care about Pokemon tur Poke Tournament. Just don't care really about, you know, trying to advance to the Nationals and Worlds uh, for this. So, you know. But next up is the uh, Shiny Mega Gyarados collection. Came out early. Um, and here is the pictures. There's this. You get the Shiny Mega Gyarados. Four packs. The card, uh, the card has Berserker Splash, 80. This attack does 10 damage to each of your, to each bench Pokemon. All right, and then Aqua Tail, 90. Flip a coin for each Water Energy attached to this Pokemon. This attack does 30 more damage for each head. So, I mean, it's still probably not worth it. If, I don't know. It doesn't like not that strong of attack, and it's a coin flip. And here is the uh, the little thing that comes with it. it. That's so cool. I do like Gyarados a lot, and it's cool that they're finally making like sh I don't know. Shiny Gyarados looks amazing. I'm uh, shiny Mega Gyarados, sorry. Uh, but it costs, let's see, for $19.99. So, you know, four packs, $19.99. Do I need to do math again? F uh, $20, there we go. So that's that's fair right there off the back. Uh, $5, four packs, $20. Yeah, that seems fine. Uh, just buy it. In New York, the collection will be released as the Shiny Mega Gyarados Balx, which replaced the figurine for Jumbo Shiny Card. It's weird that, like, Europeans are getting the cards instead of the figures. I don't know why they decided to do that, uh, which is weird. Uh, but here you go. That's the Wednesday's weekly report. Also, <laughs> Polka Beach did have me, like, laughing. Um, I'll pull it up real quick. It's a really funny thing that they did. Let's see. Uh, this is Poe's insider information. Uh, it's by the Water Pokemon Master, the guy who actually runs Poke Beach, uh, which is pretty funny if I can make it load. Um, <laughs> let's see. So he has Secret Insider for the next uh, Generation Games. Um, it's a really long thing. Go make sure you read it. I'll leave it down below in the comments. I don't want to give it away. Make sure you check out about this game. Uh, like there's, there's, there'll be no running shoes, which is pretty crazy. Um, Jack's Jinx will now appear black instead of purple, uh, which is pretty crazy. Uh, teams are going to be only be used once. Uh, so I mean, it's pretty crazy that Pokemon's doing this stuff to the game. Um, I think the biggest one is let's see do the professor not knowing your gender you're, you're gonna only be a male character in the new game supposedly uh so make sure you check this out it's pretty funny to read uh if you don't know it's obviously just a joke but make sure you check it out they did he did i mean i read this and i was like well this is kind of weird like the two games have been developing for six years longer than any of main history and they're for the 3ds like right here i was like wow that's pretty crazy six years uh so what to see and uh you go down, you read it, and then you start laughing because then you realize what it is. But yeah, uh, but hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Wednesday's Weekly Report. I'll leave a link to this art certain article down below. But like always, make sure you check out Poke Beach for the first. Um, you know, as soon as the article, as soon as the information comes out, Poke Beach usually has it up almost ASAP. But hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Wednesday's Weekly Report. I know it was kind of short, but nothing else too exciting really came out. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Have a great day. Alrighty. Bye.